Hey guys, A28 Fine Adventure here. Let's check out this console safe that I just installed in my Tundra. Let's check it out. Okay, y'all. So, I bought a safe that goes in the console of my truck. It bolts in, it has a combination and keys. Now, you don't need this if you just, you know, drive the kids to school in your truck or your vehicle or whatever. And by the way, they do make these for several different types of vehicles. Anyways, so, you know, if you keep valuables in your truck and leave them there while you go inside somewhere maybe the gym the grocery store leave your truck at a trailhead whatever you might want to get one of these just to secure some things if you carry valuables like an epi pin you know a weapon of any sort things like that it's good and it gives you a kind of a sense of security now the old saying goes if they want it, they will get it, you know, and, you know, but this is pretty secure and bolts in. Um, interestingly enough, it came in like four boxes, like a Russian, uh, like those Russian dolls, nesting dolls. Um, you're looking at two of the boxes right here, and I already took two boxes off, and I will tell you, these boxes stunk. They smelled like something dead. There was nothing dead in there. The cardboard just stank. Anyways, they had it wrapped up good. Um, this is the second one I've ordered. The first one came in, it had been dropped and it bent uh, the, the part that goes under the tray. Anyways, so after I got it unpacked, one of the things I did was I cleaned it off. I definitely, after the stink coming from that box or the boxes, I decided I needed to go over this thing with some Lysol wipes. So that was the first thing I did. And then I started organizing the parts. Now this is made of steel. It's pretty heavy, has a plastic tray on top. It comes with some foam rubber that you can put on the bottom to, you know, keep things like your pistol or whatever you have in there from banging around. Um, the compartment's pretty large. Um, it'll hold anything. I mean, I can put an Arctic cup in there or a, a Yeti mug or something in there. Uh, you could put multiple weapons if that's what you have or just valuables. It's big. You can put a purse in there easily. The locking mechanism is well made. Um, I set the combo and use a key. You can do either. So again, right here, you can see I am cleaning this thing with Lysol wipes, you know. I don't know who handled this last. Maybe it was a Friday and they were eating chicken fingers. I don't know, but I wanted to clean it off just so I could handle it and feel good about it. So here's what you get. You get a metal safe with a combo and key lock. You get two keys, directions, four washers, two long bolts, and two short bolts. The short bolts go towards the front of the vehicle. You also get a tray and some foam pads to go in the bottom of the safe. The first thing you do after you get all your tools together, and you will need a 10 millimeter socket with some extensions is you pull up the felt pad on the bottom of the console that comes from the factory. You pull that out. You can see the four 10 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and remove those and set them aside. You can save those for later if you ever remove the safe. Now carefully bring the safe into your vehicle because it's heavy. You don't want to bang it into something. It'll do damage to your interior and set it in the hole of the console. It won't just drop in. 
you have to tilt the lid to the console forward a little bit and then it will drop all the way in. And you need to watch your fingers at the same time. There are two short ones and two long ones. The short ones go towards the front and the long ones in the back. You'll see what I'm talking about in the bottom of the safe when you go to do this. The console has recessed areas where these bolts go in, so only the short ones will work up front and the long ones in the back. You'll see what I'm talking about when you go to install it. Now that I have the 10 millimeter bolts screwed in, I can go ahead and tighten them with my 10 millimeter socket. The combination and key lock is very good quality. It comes with very good directions on how to set that combo. You don't have to, you could just use the key. The little knob that you see where I put the key in turns to the left or right. It has a red or green indicator. This will allow you to open and close the safe using the combo. I was a little hesitant again about putting instructions on how to set this combo because I would have to disclose mine. But anyways, the directions are really good and when you get the safe, you can read them and set it really easy. So here it is all installed. It has the foam at the bottom of the compartments. Here's the tray that goes over the opening. And it does have a place for a wire to come out if you need to use the power that's inside the console. Again, the lock is really good quality, all metal, very sturdy. I was happy with the quality of this console safe once it finally got to me. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video of me installing that console safe to keep my valuables protected. You never know. You just want to make it harder for the thief to get away with your stuff. If he has to waste too much time, he'll move on. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you would, please subscribe and hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. I've got a bunch of videos coming, so stay tuned. See you next time.